Hey everybody, it's Jake and welcome to day 31 of the Learn Ruby Programming Tutorial Series. I'm still giving away free lifetime memberships to wildacademy.com. So you can go to wildacademy.co and sign up there. I will have a link in the description below for that. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to go over today. We're going to use the Komodo IDE today. If you have Komodo Edit, you can download Komodo IDE in the description below. But I'm going to go ahead and open that right here. What we're going to be talking about is blocks and the yield keyword. And so we're just going to go ahead and open a new one here. So I'm going to do file new ruby.rb. Now, if you are just using the Komodo IDE for the first time, with the Komodo IDE, we're going to be able to debug these files, run these files within the Komodo IDE. So what we can do, the first thing when you launch it is you want to pull up this menu at the bottom and this one on the right, this will be your file explorer so we don't have to drag in any files anymore. Here's our .rb files. And um, I'm gonna hide the minimap because we don't need it, so just hide that right there. And right up here, we're going to just show this show menu bar. You can just remove that so that it's not showing it, and that is gonna be over here. So that's for those who just downloaded it. And this is the last time I'm gonna go over the IDE on these tutorials, but I just wanted to make sure that we I covered that for anyone who hadn't seen the 1.1. So let's go ahead, now that we have a new one open, um, let's just go ahead and create a array real quick. And let's just name it Candy. And we're gonna make this just numbers. We're just gonna do two, four, six, eight. And that should be good, don't need that there. And now below candy, what we're gonna do is we are going to create a, another array, but we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it uh, candy times three. And we're gonna set it equal to candy uh, dot map. Now what this will do is this is the same as collect, but dot map is going to, uh, the block that we're about to create is gonna be used, is gonna be um, used on each individual item within this array. So we do dot map, and then we do our curly braces, and we're gonna just do, uh, we need to make sure that we create each individual instance, so let's do that. And we will just do num for number. We could also type item or anything like that. But then what we're gonna do is we're going to type uh, num times three. There we go. I'm gonna come down here and we're going to print this out. So let's just do print candy times three. Candy times Oh, just use tab there. Candy times three. Probably should have just used two words instead of three, but oh well. All right, and now I'm going to debug this. So the first thing I need to do is come up here and just make sure that I have a new Ruby shell. So start new Ruby shell. I'll come up down there. Then that'll allow me to hit this play, start or continue debugging. I'll hit that right there. And it'll give us the output down here, 6, 12, 18, 24. So what this did was is it took all of the individual items in this array and it times them by three. So you have this output six here, uh, 18, 24. So the reason I went over that is to just kind of show you the format of the block because we're gonna be using the blocks in this method that we're going to define. All right, so coming back in, we are going to create a new method. So DEF, and we're gonna name this one triple. Now we're not gonna create any arguments or parameters. So we'll just get rid of that right there and make sure that you have the end down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this puts, we are in the method, there we go. And now here we're going to yield. So this is what we're covering today, yield. And then below that we're gonna write puts, we're back, we're back. You guys remember that dinosaur movie? It's like a cartoon in the method. Good movie. All right, now we ended it. And let's come down here. Let's call our method. 
And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to create our block. Now, what this yield is going to do is it's going to yield to what we have in the block down here. So we're going to puts, excuse me, block coming through. There we go. Go ahead and hit enter and then save this. And now let's run it right here. And you can see here, it says we are in the method. Uh, it's, it's showing this top, the, the top array, but we are in the method, excuse me, block coming through, and then we're back in the method. So what happened here was we put out this first line, we are in the method, and then we yielded to whatever is in the block when we use our method right here, triple. So we yield there, it'll, it'll run what's in the block, and then we come right back out of it, and then we put we're back in the method. So we are in the method, excuse me, block coming through, and then three, we're back in the method. All right, so let's do this same thing, but let's use uh, arguments or parameters on this next one. So go ahead and just delete that right there. All right, so let's create a new method, and we're gonna call this one introduction. And we're going to create some arguments, parameters, we're gonna make them uh, name. And below that, we're going to call a yield first off. There we go. And we are going to use name there right after our yield. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a yield, but we're going to call a different name out. So we're gonna do Amanda. We will do yield again, name again, and yield again, yield again, and we actually need to come up here to Amanda, we need to do a string inside of it, there we go, and down here we're going to do John. go and let's end it all right so let's call our method let's do introduction and for our argument we'll do my name Jacob or you can do your name a block and then let's go ahead and make the parameter n we'll do my name is and then let's create let's do the hash curly the break it brackets n do an exclamation there all right oh, let's come back up here we're gonna do puts almost forgot that there we go puts my name is and then n all right so go ahead and save that and then we're going to play it right there. So let's see what I did wrong here. It says uninitialized constant Jacob name error. So what I didn't do is I did not make this a string. So just come in here, put the quotes in. Now save that again. Let's run that. And now we have it. So it says 6, 12, 8, 24. That's all up there, but we're focusing on this. My name is Jacob. My name is Amanda. And so you see this, this, uh, this pattern going on. So let's see what exactly happened here. So we have the yield name. So what we're doing is, is we're yielding to the block, which is puts my name n. And if we have name here, because this is the parameter that set up name here, and what it does is it will take whatever uh, argument that we set for within the method right here. But if we type our own right here, Amanda, what it does is instead is it will yield to the block here, so puts my name is, but then for this argument, it will take this argument instead, so it'll swap out. Instead of using Jacob, it will use Amanda. So this first line, it just yields to the block and then yields to the name, which is our, which is set up here. Now we couldn't name this anything. We couldn't name this, um, we couldn't name this a flower or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Wow, I don't know where I pulled that out of. Um, we could have named it object, right? 
we make this object okay and then down here what it will do is it will take whatever argument we have right here as long as this introductions original argument is here because what it's doing is, is it's yielding to um, the introduction that we have down here does that make sense and so we could change this to let's just do Mike go ahead and save it hit play again so my name is Mike my name is Amanda my name is Mike my name is John so you see yielding to the block so the re so let's just do this right here nice so let's do this so puts nice to meet you go ahead and save that and play that again so it says my name is Mike that's this one right here we've put in Mike down here and then we put nice to meet you so we've jumped out of the block to puts this in then we jumped right back in to the method yield we yield it again right back over to the block the block took over but we didn't take the mic argument because we had set this one to Amanda so that's why we got my name is Amanda so I hope that's making sense um, I know that the yields and the arguments parameters can be a little bit confusing but that's why I'm kind of double covering it so that it can make so that you you've got it if you have any questions please ask in the comments below Hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. I'm gonna do a quick book recommendation. This is called Cracking the Coding Interview. I'll have a link down below in the description to it. But uh, what it is is it will go over questions that you could have when you're applying to be a programmer somewhere. And by going through this, it will help you to know what it is that you're going to be up against uh, in many of the interviews that you go to. So go ahead and check that out. You can read the reviews. As I said, it has really good reviews. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you next time in day 32 of the Learn with Programming Tutorial Series.